in sport, there's winners and there's losers. And unfortunately, JL, today you're on that particular side of the fence, the losing side. What do you make of that, mate? Oh, look, one, it was uh, what I make of it was an incredible test series. And you're right, there's some team, there's a winner and a loser. We didn't come out today, but test cricket's the winner. It's been magnificent, and it's going to hurt us big time. Um, India to serve full credit. They've been outstanding. They're, they're, my gosh, they're tough uh, dusters, and they deserve full credit. Um, but we'll learn a lot of lessons from it. Well, little buddy, we've rewritten records, and they're meant to be broken records. Did you ever think today, though, on this particular wicket that you'd see a, a young face of Indian cricket in a position where they could, one, win the game, but then also rewrite history at the Gabba? Yeah, it was an amazing effort. It was uh, you know, pants innings reminded me a bit about Ben Stokes at Headingley, actually. He came in, uh, he was almost fearless, and he'll be uh, lauded because of it. It was an, an unbelievable innings. I thought young Gill batted very well. I thought their young bowling attack kept us under pressure throughout the whole game. And as I say, India deserve full credit. Um, but as do our guy. I mean, an another way to look at it from our point of view is we've had the same four bowlers who have gone hard, they've stood up, they've, they've worked so hard, they've tried their backsides off. Unfortunately, we just didn't get off over the line today, but I'm so proud of the way those four guys particularly fought so hard. Yeah, proud of you. we're all proud of you, JL. There's an extraordinary sense of expectation, I think, from the Australian cricket fans' point of view that in Australia we win test matches and we win series almost for fun. When you're on the other side of the fence, though, what's the lessons do you think that's actually going to be coming out of this series going into South Africa, which is in a month's time? Well, first, you can never take anything for granted. Second, never, ever, ever underestimate the Indians. I mean, there's 1.5 billion Indians. If you play in that first 11, you're going to be really tough, don't you? 11 players out of 1.5 billion people. As I said, I can't compliment India enough. I mean, they've, they haven't gone away after that first test match where we won in three days, bowled them out for 30-odd. Um, for them to fight back like they did is, is amazing credit to them. And, you know, we've got to sometimes... The, the big lesson for us is that you never take anything for granted. Um, and India <laughs> never go away. It's like a big arm wrestle. It always is in the one-day series, the test series we've played against them in the last few years. They're a, uh, they're a very, very strong um, international cricket team. Well, thank you very much, JL. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it, mate, so keep your head up high. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks, mate.